hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Dini today I'm doing a quick what I eat in a day to lose weight on keto if you are interested please stay tuned like this video and leave a comment down below oh I forgot something please subscribe so to start off i am going to have double cream plain yogurt two strawberries and one fig some cinnamon in there some sesame seeds and a drizzle of vanilla essence so i'm gonna go ahead and weigh my strawberries and my fig you don't have to do this part you can skip this part if you don't record your meals but for the purpose of this video i decided to weigh my food so that i show you guys how i do it so there's my fig there it's 40 grams and then i am going to go ahead and weigh my yogurt always make sure that your scale is on zero before you put anything in the bowel so there you see my scale is on zero i'm gonna go ahead and put my yogurt at this point i know three tablespoons of yogurt is 100 gram that's all you need to have says oh bro there's my yogurt 113 okay more yogurt for me then <laughs> So, and then I'm going to go ahead and add vanilla essence. I really love vanilla essence in my yogurt. I cannot do without vanilla essence in my yogurt. Yes, girl. So I did go ahead and cut up my fig and slice my strawberries. So I'm putting them in the bowl. As you can see, that's looking good already. Uh, I'm so hungry at this point. I have been fasting for 16 hours. There is my strawberry over there, sprinkling some sesame seeds. Mm, that looks yummy. And then I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle my sweetener. It's erythritol and stevia extract mix. And then I did what I do best, take pictures. <laughs> and then let's move on to the bulletproof coffee. There's my coconut oil, vanilla essence, and pink salt. My coffee and sweetener over there. That's the cheapest sweetener I, I could find. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and measure my fats as well, my coconut oil over there. And then I'm also going to weigh my butter. Those are the only things that I weigh on the bulletproof coffee side. So there I'm done. Let's get straight to the bulletproof coffee, baby. In my clean, beautiful blender. There's my coffee over there that I'm going to add in the blender. I'm just going to add a teaspoon of coffee into the blender. And then I will go ahead and add my pink salt, as you can see there. And then I'll also add my fat, which is my butter and my coconut oil, right into the blender. And then after that, I will go ahead and add the hot water because I cannot have cold coffee in the morning. I like it hot. That's how big my cup is, literally. And then after that, please guys, never forget to twist out the knob. Just twist it a little so that the pressure and the steam in the blender can come out because you don't want to find coffee on your face. Then close your blender and blend right up. There you're looking at my blender, blending all that good, good, fatty ass coffee. <laughs> I really love bulletproof coffee, you guys. So at this point, I'm going to add my vanilla through that knob hole. I'll open the knob and my vanilla and blend away. Ooh, it smells so good at this point. I really, really love vanilla essence. I think I'm addicted. So I'm done with my bulletproof coffee. There I am filling my cup of greatness. I'm ready to start my morning. All right, with my lunch, I'm going to have some pilchard curry there. I have my curry powder from ShopRite. It slaps good. It slaps me right to the gauze. I really love it. And then I also have this curry powder. It's keto friendly. You can get it at ShopRite, but it doesn't do me good. And then I'm also going to use dried parsley, coarse black pepper, paprika mixed with cayenne, some chili explosion. It's chili peppers and sea salt, some vegetable spice, fish over there, my zucchini, tomato for my curry, celery, green pepper, thyme, and onion. This fed, guys, I got it from work. It's chicken fed. I rendered it from chicken thighs. That saves me a lot of money. I get it from work for free while I'm cooking over there. So I'm going to go ahead and add a tablespoon in the pan that I'm using for curry and a teaspoon in the zucchinis. 
and then I will fry away. So there's my onion there, green pepper and celery frying away nicely. There's my zucchini also frying and cooking good, good. And then after that, I will go ahead and add my thyme and also add my tomatoes. That looks so colorful and looks beautiful already. And then I'll give it a good mix. Always give it a good mix. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my spices, the ones you've seen earlier on. I will sprinkle them over there, good veg, and give it a good stir. Alright guys, my zucchini is ready. I did sprinkle some veggie spice in there. So I'm going to add my cleaned pilchards in the veggies over there. And give it a nice, good mix. Just make sure that you mix everything well. The smells are coming through. It's smelling so good at this point. Oh my god, it smells lovely. Alright, my curry is done now. It looks beautiful. So I did enjoy my lunch with cauliflower bread, curry and zucchini. It looked lovely. For supper, I decided to have peanuts and tea. That is all I had. With two slices of lemon in there, I was tired. I didn't want to cook anymore. So I went ahead and weighed my peanuts with the scale over there. I had about 53 grams of peanuts because I was still full from my bulletproof coffee and my heavily fatty lunch. That was really, really beautiful. So I had the peanuts over there, as you can see, and then I made my tea with lemon. That was all. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your support. If you'd like more videos like this one, please leave a comment down below. I will gladly film that for you guys. Thank you. I love you guys. Mm.